Right now, the man suspected of assaulting a UW-Madison student makes his first court appearance. We're live at the courthouse with what officers say he told them during his arrest. Also, new bus company, same problems with the new school year here. Parents are showing frustration getting their kids to school on time, what the company is telling us. And later, how this summer's drought could have an impact on the pumpkin crop, crop this fall. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. I don't think the public can be protected without a very significant cash bail that any sort of benefactor who may be extremely rich isn't going to want to have forfeited uh, if there's a bail violation. One million dollars. That is the cash bail a court commissioner set for Brandon Thompson, the man who is now formally charged in the sexual and physical assault of a UW-Madison student. Armand Rahman is live at the courthouse where prosecutors are calling this case one of the most horrific sexual assaults they have seen in Dane County. Armand? Yeah, Eric, court documents say the attack left a young woman with a grade two traumatic brain injury, bleeding in the brain, and she's on a feeding tube. She has woken up occasionally, but they say that when she has, she's been very confused. The officers responding to the attack around 3 a.m. Sunday called her injuries one of the most horrifying things they've seen. At the hospital, she also sewed injuries signifying sexual assault. Police found and arrested Thompson later at Meritor Hospital, and he allegedly admitted to wanting to hit something, quote, seeing red, and that he, quote, could have sexually assaulted her that night. What's alleged here, the, the violence is just shocking. It's appalling. Um, I, I, I don't know that I need to comment as to whether I think this is the worst sex assault I've ever seen. Um, obviously, I've seen too many of them over the uh, last 23 years. According to the criminal complaint, a DNA analyst with the Wisconsin State Crime Lab said he located semen on all six swabs taken below the woman's waist, and they were consistent with Thompson's DNA. And the district attorney's office actually asked the court commissioner to hand down a $2 million cash bond because they believe Thompson posed too great of a threat to the public. Meanwhile, his defense asked for a $10,000 cash bond because he's a college graduate with no criminal record. I spoke to that attorney that was in the courtroom today, and we'll hear from her tonight at 10. For now, live in downtown Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. A Beloit woman is sentenced to more than two years in federal prison for distributing cocaine. Dominique Holston will also spend three years on supervised release after pleading guilty back in May. Holston distributed drugs after her husband, DePronce Burnett's arrest back in 2021. One, Burnett directed the sales by phone from inside the jail when police searched the couple's home about a month later. There, they found cocaine, meth, and $87,000 in cash. Burnett was sentenced last month to 11 years in prison. More comfortable weather tonight. Cool temps as well. Let's check your first war and forecast. I'm Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? The only problem, Eric, is we can use the rain. We got the clouds, but we just can't get any rain out of them. As we take a look at visible cloud track, you can see every once in a while a few breaks in the clouds and the back edge of the clouds uh, approaching the Mississippi River from the west, but high resolution radar, not a drop of rain across southern Wisconsin. High temperatures today held down because of the cloud cover. Milwaukee did have a little sunshine earlier today. They made it up to 71, as did Kenosha, but Madison, the best we could do so far is 67. Janesville hit 70, but most areas stayed in the 60s. And right now, temperatures are in the middle 60s uh, across south central Wisconsin. Uh, here in Dane County, it's 65 in McFarland, 66 in Middleton, and 66 in Cross Plains. Look for skies to be mostly cloudy this evening. Temperatures dropping into the lower 60s by late evening. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that does include a little milder weather as we head toward the weekend, but unfortunately not much in the way of rain, at least in the short term. Gary, thank you. We have heard from parents across the Madison School District now for the past few days about the new busing system, delays, forgotten students, missed stops. They've caused some headaches the first few days of the school year. Our Braden Ross asked Madison's new bus provider about these issues. And Braden, what did they tell you? Well, they told me they're working on it and hope to have things running smoothly soon. But one grandma I talked to today says after what happened with her grandson yesterday, she's not going to wait and find out. When I put him on the bus, he's happy. When he gets off the bus, he's happy. Vanessa Alexander wouldn't miss this for the world. I get her to the bus stop and I wait and I doodle around. I do my little rounds. I walk. She can't wait to hear all about her grandson's second day of kindergarten. But... 30 minutes, no bus is here. 30 minutes turned into an hour, then two hours. Still, no bus. And my mind is just like going crazy because you just don't know. I drove to the school and I did another round to go to the actual bus company to see if I could talk to someone there. Um, 
no one there um, could actually talk to me and tell me anything. So she went home to wait, and finally, three hours after she expected it, the bus rolled up, her sleeping kindergartner in tow. Okay, so the, what is the protocol when you don't check a child off? And he says, well, normally we don't have a protocol. There's none that we're supposed to do. And I say, yes, there is a protocol, because when you're at your last stop, and you haven't checked the student off, then you know there's somewhere on that bus. Did you get up to go check? He says, no, that's not what we do. I asked, and it turns out Vanessa's right. There is a protocol for this. In a statement from First Student, the bus provider from Madison Schools, a spokesperson told me their buses have an electronic reminder system that can't be deactivated until the driver walks to the back of the bus looking for kids left behind. That did not happen. First Student added that they'll keep working to make sure their buses run smoothly, but for Vanessa, that answer just isn't good enough. I'm just concerned that another child could literally be left on the bus overnight. And that parent is going to be wondering where their child is. It's going to become a serious issue. First student did not respond to requests for an on-camera interview, but also told me in that statement one of their biggest challenges is staffing. And as part of that fix, they're offering new drivers $24 an hour plus a $3,000 signing bonus. Braden, thank you. Meanwhile, in Racine, several people are injured after two buses collided yesterday afternoon. That crash caught on a ring doorbell camera. Take a look here. You can see both buses approaching an intersection. The school bus here just runs through a stop sign. And then it's hit right there by the city bus. At least four people were sent to the hospital. Now, witnesses told police the school bus driver may not have seen that stop sign. Police say they had just dropped off their last student before that crash. I got off of work and someone texted me and they said, is there a bus on your yard? Because the picture looks familiar. And I'm like, no. And I went on Facebook and I'm like, oh, wait, there's a bus on my yard. Well, investigators are still looking into the official cause of that crash. A Madison man faces homicide charges after being connected to a deadly crash last month. Alex Young made his initial appearance in court today. He was arrested after an August 9th crash near the intersection of West Wash and South Park Street. That crash left an elderly man dead. And when searching Young's car, police say they found an empty bottle of wine. They say a test revealed Young's blood alcohol content at the time was 0.14. A former canine handler for the Monroe County Sheriff's Office has been charged in connection with a canine's death. Alex Moss has been charged with the intentional mistreatment of an animal, a Class A misdemeanor. It was May 10th. Canine Colt, shown here, suffered a heat-related injury. After multiple treatments, Colt died. Five days later, Detective Moss resigned shortly thereafter. Moss is scheduled for a court appearance next month. It's the first week of school for many Madison students, and it coincided with a visit from the U.S. Secretary of Education. He sat down with our political reporter, Will Keneally, who joins us now live in the newsroom with more, Will. Well, Eric, he toured Vell Phillips Memorial High School, meeting with some students and talking about what the education looks like both here in Madison and across the country and how it can help our American workforce. Now, he sat down with News 3 Now exclusively to talk about some of the Biden administration's priority for education. We started by asking him about his path from teacher to agency secretary and about some of his takeaways visiting Madison. Uh, what was it like getting that call from the Biden administration? It was great. I, I, it was just, you know, surreal, right? Um, it was bigger than me. It was really like, um, you know, a testament to the sacrifice of the, my parents, my grandparents. And Above all, there's a sense of community and, and, and cohesiveness here uh, in Madison around supporting students through CTE programming. So for me, the, the takeaway is it's everyone's job to make sure that these students are getting the best experience. And Eric will have more from our conversation up online later tonight at channel3000.com. All right, Will, thank you. And still ahead at 6, the first warned traffic alert, why some on and off ramps on I-3990 are closed. We'll tell you when they'll open back up. Plus, the 115 fighter wing celebrating a milestone today as it looks to the future with its newest fighter jet. Stay with us. Secure your home, add privacy, and keep your children and pets safe with one call to revamp fence. South Central Wisconsin's trusted source for high-quality fencing solutions. Revamp fence installs state-of-the-art vinyl structures five times stronger than wood. Wind, water, and fade resistant, easy to clean and maintain with a variety of stunning color combinations to enhance curb appeal and backed with a lifetime warranty.
Call now during our home safety event. You'll save with 50% off installation of a new fence or choose 24 months no interest financing. Plus, receive a $250 Home Depot gift card with purchase and a bonus. Call during this program and receive a free upgrade to solar fence post cap lights. From Madison and South Central Wisconsin, call 1-800-565-5096. That's 1-800-565-5096. This is the house that angels built. Attic Angels Senior Living Community is built on a foundation of authentic, local care. A framework for living well. Windows to take in the beautiful future. And it's crowned by the pride that one's home is one's castle. This is the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community. Independent homes and four levels of assisted living. Built with the help of angels. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Check out our huge selection of Patriot Lighting ceiling fans. They make a beautiful addition to any room while reducing energy costs year-round. The Anetta Matte Black Indoor-Outdoor Ceiling Fan is $139.95 after rebate. Find your style with Patriot Lighting and give your home a coordinated look with over 35 in-stock lighting collections. Check out the lighting options from the Kara Collection, like this Kara Matte Black Wall Light. Now $39.95 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. And welcome back. Ramps from both northbound and southbound I-3990 to eastbound U.S. Highway 1218. So that's going east of the Beltline toward Cambridge. Those ramps are now closed due to construction. It's part of the construction of a new interchange with Highway 1218 and County Highway AB. So here's what they want you to do to go east on 1218 toward Cambridge. You just exit west onto the Beltline. Get off at Stoughton Road and then loop around, re-enter the Beltline heading east. The ramps are set to remain closed through late October. Airports across Wisconsin, including Dane County Regional and Truex Field, will be able to upgrade infrastructure thanks to money from the FAA. Four airports in Wisconsin were given more than $23 million total from the Airport Improvement Program. Both Dane County Regional and Truax Field received more than $6 million to reconstruct a taxiway. Airports in Appleton and Rhinelander also received money for upgrades. The 115th Fighter Wing celebrates 75 years of service and a new mission now with the F-35. Since 1948, from the F-51 Mustang to the F-16 Falcons, the 115th is now flying its ninth primary aircraft, the new F-35. Over the past 17 years, the unit has flown nine combat deployments with a 100% success rate. This outstanding unit consistently distinguishes itself during Air Combat Command and North American Aerospace Defense Command inspections, including an outstanding rating on the NORAD Alert Forces Evaluation in 2021, and has earned the Outstanding Unit Award 11 times. The wing received its first three F-35s in April and will build up to 20 of those new fighter jets. Still ahead, a popular statue gets repaired after being hit by vandals earlier in the week. Plus, the drought in Wisconsin could spell trouble for pumpkins all around the state. Why, it might not be all smiles for your jack-o'-lanterns this year. And as temperatures stay cool and we can expect a, new, a next chance of rain, well, Gary has a complete forecast after the break. You're it. Imagine a world with no drama. With 4imprint, you don't have to chase down the perfect promotional products. Exclusive apparel, bags, drinkware, and more. 4imprint will help you capture the moment and guarantee to deliver your order on time and on budget. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... 
This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is totally words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great, looks even better. And I did this to my father, we were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Labor Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. An iconic statue in Milwaukee is now back to happy days after it was vandalized. The bronze fawn statue was repaired after being hit by vandals with black paint. The sculpture, of course, a tribute to Henry Winkler's character, Arthur Fonzarelli, in the sitcom Happy Days. For those of you too young to remember, the show took place in Milwaukee. Police continue their search for the vandals. These cooler temps are making it feel like fall, but our farms will be feeling the impact of this year's drought conditions all through the winter months. Our Catherine Merck went to the pumpkin patch for a look at this year's crop and shows us how one farmer avoided a bad batch. Most of the time you can put seeds in the ground and, and Mother Nature does, does her part and takes care of them, but this year, not at all. Chris Kirsch is the owner of Enchanted Valley Acres. In the fall, this place becomes the home of the harvest. And it looks like a lot of weeds because there is, but there's also a huge amount of pumpkins out here. To adjust to this summer's drought, he had to take extra time to water his crops early in the season. As most farmers vividly know, May and June were extremely dry. Pumpkins need water in order to be able to grow. So if your jack-o'-lantern didn't get enough water, it can look a little bit less impressive this year. I'm happy with what we have. If Chris didn't make this effort, his pumpkin patch could have looked spooky. If we hadn't done that, I don't think a lot of the seeds would have germinated. They would have sat there. So yeah, I could definitely see it impacting all other crops as well. This season, some other pumpkin patches may not have the same luck. However, Chris says the farms who put in the extra effort will be the place to pick. Just because one patch of pumpkins didn't do so good doesn't mean the other didn't thrive. We'll have pumpkins for you until the end of October. Reporting in Cross Plains, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. And we can expect fall-like temps for the rest of the week. Gary has a complete look at the forecast. Well, it's certainly better than a heat wave like we had last weekend. Three things you need to know in the forecast. It'll also be dry through uh, pretty much uh, the entire weekend with a possible shower chance Sunday afternoon. The better chances for rain will come Sunday night into Monday uh, and maybe even lingering into Tuesday as well. That's really about the only rain chance that we have over the next 10 days and it'll be dry and pleasant for the end of next week where temperatures will be in the lower to middle 70s. Final drive forecast tomorrow's featured game 7 p.m. Verona at Middleton. That'll be a big game and the weather should be really nice. The skies will be cleared out by then. Kickoff temperature about 67 degrees with sunny skies, clear skies through the rest of the game so no clouds, no rain just enjoy the football weather should be great for the fans and the Ironman on Sunday uh, pretty much looking the same we've added a little more cloud cover in there uh, still looking for high temperatures in the middle 70s we start out in the mid 50s for the swimming uh, the biking will be mainly in the 60s and then the running will be in the lower to middle 70s outside chance that there could be an afternoon shower probably would feel good for the runners by that point but shouldn't amount to very much high resolution radar no rain across southern Wisconsin 
over the last seven days. No rain at all north and west of Madison and just spotty precipitation elsewhere. The more general rains have stayed to the north and to the east of us. And because of that, the U.S. Drought Monitor just released today has exceptional drought conditions between Madison and Milwaukee and extreme drought conditions right in between. Severe drought conditions across the rest of south central Wisconsin. That is not looking good. And a rain forecast that's almost negligible over the next 10 days are not looking good as well. The tropics, uh, powerful Hurricane Lee and tropical storm Margo in the the eastern portion of the Atlantic Ocean, but all eyes are on Lee. Right now, maximum sustained winds of 130 miles an hour. Look at this forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Brings it up to a Category 5 with sustained winds of 165 miles an hour and gusts to 200 miles per hour. The storm continues as a Category 5 or a very strong Category 4 as it moves in a west-northwesterly direction. The big question is how quickly it'll turn and whether it'll miss the U.S. East Coast. Right now, it looks like it'll stay north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, but still we're going to keep a very close eye on this. At the very least, it's going to bring high surf to the uh, eastern portions of uh, the uh, U.S. coast, uh, basically from the Carolinas all the way northward to New England. Plan your night across Dane County. Temperatures uh, dropping into the middle 50s. We'll probably see a couple of breaks in the clouds, otherwise just generally cloudy skies. 55 in Oregon, 57 degrees in Mount Vernon, 58 for the overnight low temperature in Pine Bluff. Plan your night across the rest of south central Wisconsin, a little cooler up to the north. 52 in Camp Douglas, 54 in Watoma, down to the south, 58 for the low in Janesville, and 58 degrees in Monroe. For tomorrow, look for skies to become partly sunny. Still on the cool side, high temperature at 71, but a couple degrees warmer than today, just having that sunshine in there. And then the first one, 7 to 10 day forecast, up to 76, a great day on Saturday. Sunday, a little more cloud cover. Again, an outside chance of an afternoon shower. The better rain chances will come Sunday night into Monday. Temperatures drop back into the upper 60s for the first part of next week. Still a shower chance into Tuesday, and then dry weather after that with a prolonged period of pretty nice weather expected. Temperatures going from the upper 60s to the lower 70s, and then eventually into the middle 70s as we head toward next weekend. And coming up in sports, Wisconsin hits the road for the first time this season. While the Badgers say their favorite sound on Saturday will be silence. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This week's High V Hot Deals are High V Choice Reserve Bacon Wrapped Sirloins, $2.99. Ruffles, Fritos, Cheetos, or simply $2.50 each when you buy four. And select Coke products, $3.25 each when you buy four. Only at High V. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. You work hard enough. Take a load off this Labor Day with new appliances from Brothers Main. Celebrate the holiday with unbeatable deals on top brands like GE Appliances, Cafe, Hotpoint, and higher. Don't miss out. Shop the Labor Day sale at Brothers Main today. Fry Construction invites you to usher in the fall season with our exclusive fall sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofers three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our fall savings. Save 23% off gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. Fire up the grill and save this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Fresh ground chuck, $3.99 a pound. Our special recipe brats, eight for $12, plus a 16 cent fuel saver. And pork loin back ribs, $1.99 a pound. Only at Hy-Vee. 
We're getting you ready for a rootin' tootin' weekend right here in the 608. Tomorrow, Josh wrangles up a look at what's ahead on the schedule for Mesa Mani's Wild West Days. It looks like the uh, fall like temperatures will continue for the next week. So join us tomorrow between 4.30 and 7. The season of first continues for Luke Fickle on Saturday when his Badgers hit the road for the first time. It will also be UW's first night game of the season, too. Now, the best thing about playing away from Camp Randall, road trips force the team to bond. It's an us versus the world mentality the Badgers are taking to Pullman, and they want nothing more than to silence the roughly 33,000 screaming Cougar fans. I think one of the coolest things uh, about college football is the energy. Um, you know, whether that's for you or against you, um, it's something that's really fun. Um, so I think if you embrace that, it, it also just makes it easier. You almost feel like you take the wind out of the other team's sails, um, especially playing at their place. You know, it's it's a, it's it's an advantage when you can take the crowd out of it, and that's an, that's an added challenge. Um, you know, you love hearing the opposing crowd because you know, like, it's going to be a game. It's going to be a dogfight. Um, so I can't wait. Meanwhile, in Green Bay, some good news for Jordan Love. Romeo Dobbs was back at practice in a limited capacity for the first time in two weeks as the Packers prepare for their season opener against the Bears. You know, the team who Aaron Rodgers dominated. Well, Love isn't really focused on that record. He's, you could say in a word, excited that his time as QB1 begins in three days. I'm excited for it. Um... You know, I mean, it's always exciting to, you know, open the season, get the first game on um, rolling. But uh, for an NFC opponent, you know, rival, rivalry game, it'll be very exciting um, playing there in their stadium. So uh, I'm sure it'll be a packed house. Everybody will be excited for week one and uh, ready to put on a show. And the Badger volleyball team back in action tonight. Wisconsin hosts Arizona at 7, then Miami tomorrow night at the same time. UW currently undefeated and ranked number one in the nation. Badgers haven't lost a regular season match at the Fieldhouse since they fell to Purdue on November 21st, 2021. Well, we have a preview tonight of our weekly sports show, Wisconsin Huddle. Zach's been working hard on that. An inside look at Badger athletics. Yeah, each week we spend some time with a Badger and get to meet them up close and personal. This week is Braylon Allen. So Braylon, we know what you can do on the football field, but I kind of want to test your skills with giant Jenga. You ready? I think so. They're like there go. There's an easy one. I'll give it. I'll give you the easy one. There we go. You had a football camp in Madison, and you're helping with Jim with his. What is it? Why is it so important for you to give back? It means a lot to me. I know definitely to my mom. Um, she's super big on you know being a good person before yeah. a good athlete. Oh. Good work. Thank you. I did it on purpose. You can watch the full competition streaming right now on our Channel 3000 YouTube page and on Channel3000.com. And don't forget, Wisconsin Huddle airs Friday nights at 6.30 right here on News 3 Now. And you can also watch next week's taping live with co-host Chez Malusi on Monday at Buck and Honey's in Sun Prairie at 6.30. Time is that. limited. You have to get, hurry up and get it done so we can fit it in. Let's go. Gary's got a final check of the forecast. Yeah, lots of clouds out there, but no rain. There's the live view from the WIC TV Skycam. Every once in a while, you see a little patch of blue out there. The Platteville Queen Bee Radio Skycam has some sunshine on the far western horizon. It's clearing out pretty nicely west of the Mississippi River, but <laughs> There's the, the clouds are there, but no rain, and we could certainly use that. Current temperatures, uh, generally low to mid-60s across southern Wisconsin right now. Uh, 68 Janesville, 65 in Madison, uh, 66 in Stoughton, 66 in Cross Plains, and 67 in Sauk City. Look for skies to be variably cloudy uh, this evening. Temperatures dropping into the lower 60s by late evening. And we'll see a gradual warm-up as we head into the weekend. The weekend should be pretty nice and uh, I think pretty good for the Ironman as well. well uh, pretty cool out there. Feeling good, almost yeah. like fall football time. Thanks for joining us for News Shootout 6. Folks, we'll be back here tonight at 10. Have a good evening.